Hey everyone, in this video, I'll show you how to install and run macOS on your Windows PC using a virtual machine. This method allows you to experience macOS without needing to buy an expensive Mac computer. I'll guide you through the step-by-step -step process of installing macOS on VirtualBox so you can explore and use macOS features right from your Windows PC or laptop. To install macOS on VirtualBox, you'll need a macOS ISO file. Open your browser and search for macOS ISO Archive. In this tutorial, I'll be downloading it from the Internet Archive website. I'll include the link in the video description so you can access it directly. Keep in mind that the latest macOS versions, such as Monterey, Ventura and Sonoma, do not function properly on VirtualBox. For a smoother experience, I recommend downloading macOS Big Sur version 11 or an earlier release. In this tutorial, I'll be using macOS Big Sur, so be sure to download the Big Sur ISO file. Since I've already downloaded the ISO, I'll cancel this one. The next step is to install VirtualBox on your Windows PC. Search for VirtualBox. Then, visit the official VirtualBox website. I'll also include the link in the video description for easy access. In the VirtualBox Platform Packages section, download the Windows Hosts file for your Windows computer. Once the download is complete, launch the VirtualBox installer and follow the on-screen instructions to complete the installation process. After installing VirtualBox, next you need to download and install the VirtualBox extension pack. Click on accept and download the extension pack. Once the download is complete, simply run the file to begin the installation. Before proceeding with the installation, it's important to disable Windows Hyper-V to prevent conflicts with third-party virtualization software. Hyper-V is Microsoft's built-in virtualization feature available on both Windows 10 and Windows 11 to disable Hyper-V open Windows security. Navigate to Device Security. Click on Core Isolation Details. Turn off the toggle for memory integrity, I have already disabled this option. This step ensures smooth operation of VirtualBox without interference from Windows native virtualization features. Next, open command prompt as an administrator. Then, copy and paste this command in your terminal and press enter. This command is used to disable the Hyper-V hypervisor on a Windows system. Once the command is executed, restart your PC to apply the changes and proceed with the next steps in the installation process. The next step is to create a virtual machine for your macOS installation. Open VirtualBox and click the new button. Name your virtual machine. You can choose any name you like, folder option, this is where you want to store your VirtualBox machine data. In the ISO image field, browse and select the macOS ISO file you downloaded. Set the type to Mac OS X and the version to Mac OS X, 64-bit. Click Next to proceed. In Hardware option, you need to allocate RAM and CPU cores for your virtual machine. MacOS requires at least 4GB of RAM and 2 processor cores, but allocating more resources will improve performance. If your computer allows it, assign higher values. I will allocate 8GB of RAM and 4 CPU cores for better speed. Next, allocate storage space for your macOS virtual machine. A minimum of 50GB is recommended for smooth performance. If you have enough disk space, allocate more. For this setup, I will assign 50 gigabytes from my C drive. Finally, click Finish, and your macOS virtual machine will be created successfully. Now, 
We need to adjust a few settings for the virtual machine before running Mac OS. Click the Settings button in VirtualBox. Go to the Display section. Set video memory to 128 megabytes for optimal graphics performance. Then click on the USB tab. Select a USB 3.0 for better speed and compatibility with USB devices. Next, navigate to the General tab and select the Advanced section. By default, the shared clipboard is set to Disabled. To enable seamless copy-pasting between your host and virtual machine, change the setting to Bidirectional from the drop-down menu. Finally, click OK to save the changes. Now one last thing you have to do is patch the virtual machine. So completely close the virtual box, then we need to patch the virtual machine by executing a set of commands. If you're using an Intel or AMD processor, choose the corresponding set of commands. Since I have an Intel processor, I will copy and paste the Intel specific commands into the terminal. Replace VM name in the commands with the actual name of your virtual machine. So my macOS virtual machine name is macOS. Replace all VM name with my virtual machine name. Now copy Intel specific commands and paste it in the terminal. For your convenience, I have included a copy of these commands in the video description. You can download them from there or simply copy and paste them into Notepad. Now, we are ready to install macOS on the virtual machine. Open the virtual box again and click the start button to power on your virtual machine. It may take a few minutes for macOS to initialize, so be patient. Once the macOS installer wizard appears, select your preferred language and click the arrow icon to proceed. Click on Disk Utility and then continue to format the virtual hard drive before installation. Select VBox Hard Drive Media and click Erase. Enter a name for your disk and click Erase again. After formatting, close Disk Utility and select Install macOS Big Sur or the version you downloaded and click Continue. Click Continue, then agree to the terms and conditions. Choose the hard drive you just formatted and click Continue to begin the installation. The installation may take over 40 minutes to complete, during which your virtual machine will restart several times. Simply let the process run uninterrupted and return after about half an hour to proceed with the setup. Now that macOS is successfully installed, the next step is to go through the initial setup process. Follow the on-screen instructions just as you would when setting up a brand new Mac. Simply go through each step carefully, making selections based on your preferences, and soon you'll be ready to start using macOS on your virtual machine. Once you have completed all the steps correctly, 
macOS should now be running on your Windows PC using VirtualBox. This allows you to explore macOS exclusive applications and features right from your Windows system. By default, the display resolution is set to 1024 by 768 pixels, which may not provide the best visual experience. If you want to increase the resolution, follow these steps. First, power off your macOS virtual machine. Open command prompt as an administrator and run this command first, it will go to the VirtualBox installation directory. Now we need to run the next command to set the desired screen resolution for the virtual machine. It's important to choose a resolution that does not exceed the maximum supported resolution of your physical monitor. My monitor supports full HD resolution. I will set it to 1920 by 1080 pixels. You can increase the video memory from 128 megabytes to 256 megabytes for better graphics performance. Run this command. Once the changes are applied, restart your virtual machine. You should now notice an improved display resolution inside the VM window. With these settings, you can now enjoy a more optimized and immersive macOS experience on your Windows PC. And that's it. You've successfully installed macOS on VirtualBox and can now explore all its features right from your Windows PC. If this tutorial helped you, don't forget to like the video and subscribe for more tech guides. Have any questions or ran into issues? Drop a comment below and I'll be happy to help.